How do computers think? We've discussed in other videos that computers simply take information in the forms of 1 and 0. However, we did not discuss how computers can process and manipulate that information. How does a computer think? Do they have artificial intelligence? If so, how does that work? How does a computer take my information and give me other information? This is actually very simple. Computers manipulate information using things called logic gates. In this episode of Tech Without Fear, we'll discuss how logic gates convert raw information into process data. Let us first start with what a logic gate is. A logic gate is simply a transistor that responds to specific electric impulses. Let us assume transistors read either 1 for electric charge or 0 for absence of a charge. Based on the desired outcome of the transistor, it either allows electricity through it or blocks it which is again represented by 1 and 0. Let us start with the first logic gate, an AND gate. This one is simple. If all of its inputs are 1, then it will allow the electricity through and return 1. The NAND gate is the opposite of an AND gate. If all inputs are 1, it will return 0 instead of 1. The next logic gate is the OR gate. This one is also very simple. If any of the inputs are 1, then it will return 1. The NOR gate is the opposite of the OR gate. If any of its inputs is 1, then it will return a 0. In a NOR gate, you can also have all the inputs be 1 and the gate return 1, as at least one of the inputs has been 1. The next one is a little bit more complex. It is called an XOR gate, or known as an exclusive OR gate. It can only hold two inputs. It will return a 1 if either of the inputs is 1 but it will return 0 if both the inputs are 1 or both the inputs are 0. It only accepts OR inputs. It will not accept an AND input like a regular OR gate. Only one input can be 1. The other one must be 0 or else it will return 0. The next one is one more position deeper. It's an exclusive NOR gate. It can have two inputs. It is basically an AND gate. It returns 1 if both the inputs are 0 or 1. It returns 0 if one of the inputs is 0 and the other input is 1. However, this gate allows you to return 1 even with two zeros. In an AND gate, you can't use two zeros. You can only use two ones. Finally, we have what is known as a NOT gate, also known as an inverter gate. It simply takes your input and outputs the opposite. If you input 1, it outputs 0 and vice versa. So how does this allow the computer to think? Well, these gates in combination form basic human knowledge. Let's say you have a computer which automatically ordered cat food when you ran out. The computer would have several inputs. Is there still cat food in the house? An OR gate would represent yes or no. If there is no food, then a one would be used. If there is food, then it would be zero. Now, if it returned 1, it would check if there's food left in the dispenser. Once again, you could use another OR gate. If there's food left in the dispenser, it would return a 0. If there's not food left in the dispenser, it would return a 1. Yes, it checks whether you have money in the bank to order it, once again, as another OR gate. All these OR gates output to AND gate. If all the conditions are met and all the inputs are 1, then it orders the food. If one of them is not met, then it does not order the food. All processes can be broken down like this. Through processes like this, computers can make decisions based on inputs they are provided. The more information a computer has, the better it can think and do things with it. We hope you understand how computers can process information and think per se. If you have any suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below and we'll be sure to consider it for our future videos. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed. It helps us out.